If you are looking for a dog that are easy to train, then Kevapu would be a better choice. But if you are looking for a dog that easy to groom, then Shipu would be a better choice. But overall, which dog is best for your home and lifestyle? This thing you will decide in the end of this video. So let's start with size difference. The Shipus are small dogs, weighed between 9 to 18 pounds and stand between 8 to 12 inches tall at the shoulder. On other side, you can expect Kawapoos to be small to medium, depending on the size of the poodle parent. Most weight in at 9 to 25 pounds and range in height from 9 to 14 inches at the shoulder. Number 2. Training Difference When it comes to Shipu trainings, you should be prepared for a challenge. The Shipu is quite stubborn. He does not feel the need to learn how to behave, do tricks or even go outdoors to use the bathroom. Positive reinforcement is the best way to train your pup, giving them tasty treats and loads of praise. When they do what you want them to, they have quite a short attention span. So, you should keep training sessions short and positive. On other side, the Kavapoos have also a short attention span, which can make training more difficult. Potty training is particular, may require more time and patience. However, they are curious and intelligent breed. As long as training sessions are kept short and fun and include rewards, they are ultimately very trainable dogs. Number 3. Grooming Difference the Kevapu does not shed, but Kevapus require a lot of grooming. They are high maintenance when it comes to their coat. They need to be brushed on a regular basis to ensure their skin and coat is kept nice and healthy. Kevapus fur is known for growing quickly, so several professional trims a year are needed and also to make sure they don't overheat in the hotter months. Brushing them on a regular basis also helps prevent the buildup of knots and matting. On other hand, the Shipu's grooming requirement will vary depending on what type of coat they have. If they have the poodle coat, you should brush them at least a couple of times a week. You should take them to have their coat trimmed every 6 to 8 weeks. This will ensure their fur stays clean and healthy. If they have the Shih Tzu coat, you are going to have to brush it every day. They get tangles easily and will need to have dirt and debris removed from their coat on a regular basis. Number 4. Temperament Difference Both Kavapoos and Shipoos are great companions for anyone. The Shipu will be a suitable dog for a family with older children. But older kids are able to learn how to correctly handle a small dog. This reduces the risk of your dog getting injured. Both of these dogs are somewhat hyperactive at home racing around the house in excitement. When you return to the house to be with them, they are highly intelligent but respond best to kind attitude, patience and loads of praise. The Kavapu mixes well with other people, dogs and pets. These dogs are eager to please and will try hard to do what you ask. Number 5. Time Investment The Kavapu is a gentle dog but they can still take after their poodle parent. This means that they still love to learn and play. The Kavapu need around 30 to 60 minutes of exercise every day. This can be a trip to the park or even just running around your back garden. And the Shipus does not have a particularly intense exercise requirement. They only need to be out walking for around 1 hour a day. They like gentle strolls and chasing a ball in the dog park. This is not the dog for you if you are looking for a hiking or running partner. Number 6. Feed and Diet Difference We know that a dog's diet is extremely impactful on their general health. The Shipu needs a diet that is around 25% protein. Proteins and fats are most important nutrients for your dog. It's recommended you get a small dog breed kibble for your Shipus. This is because they are prone to dental conditions. Feeding them kibble helps to prevent premature tooth loss. On other hand, the Kavapu require around 40 calories of food per pound of body weight a day. This is between 300 to 600 calories per day. Although, you should always check the back of the food packet to see how much a certain food you should be feeding your dog based on their weight. Number 7. Health Issues Genetic disorders in mixed breed dogs are not eliminated entirely simply because they are mixed breeds. So, you have to expect that your pup at some points will experience a health issue. However, the sheep poos are generally prone to following diseases. 
Number 1. Tartar buildup on the teeth can lead to infection of the gums, which can progress to premature tooth loss or even risk damaging the kidneys, liver and heart, such as weight gain, inactivity, skin disease and hair loss. And the Kamapoos are generally known to suffer from hip dysplasia, eye conditions and luxating patella. Number 8. Puppy cost and lifespan difference. The Shipoos is cheaper than Kamapoos. A Shipu puppy will cost anywhere from $500 to $1200. The price will mainly depend on the quality of the parents. And the Kamapu price can range from $1200 to $1800. And the lifespan of Kavapoos is 12 to 15 years and the Sheepoos lifespan is 10 to 16 years. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.